The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the June 10th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary day. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what the buyers and the sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I am absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more importantly, during this next hour, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial in. in. would love to hear from you, 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered. Let those fingers do the walking. Anyone can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in the Tiger's Den. Well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on magical, marvelous, magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, the Dow up 140 points, 26, 124 is a print. That's about a half a percent to the upside. The S&P up eight tenths of a percent, 23 points. The NASDAQ 100 up one and six tenths percent. That is 121 points. The Russell up about a full percentage point, 14. Semis up three uh, percent. That's uh, 42 points. So everything looks beautiful with, with the exception of that spot volatility index. That's down 12 pennies trading out at 1618. But it is above the 50-day exponential moving average. And we've got gold off 15 bucks, silver down 38 cents. That's 2.5% to the downside. But we're going to begin the show by going out to uh, Palm Harbor and speaking with uh, Jim. Jim, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm doing good, Steve. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thanks so much for asking. And, uh, folks, the symbol... Uh, that we're going to be checking out is AMKR, K -A -M -K -R, in case you want to pick, uh, put, uh, populate your screen from your chart standpoint so you can follow along with Jim and I. And that's a Amcor technology. And, uh, Jim, what are you doing and how can I help you? Um, I'm just looking for a, a short-term trade, a day trade or a swing trade. And it looked like uh, this one was at a good spot, uh, although the volume's a little light. I okay. Yeah, and <laughs> I, I, you've been watching this equity for a while. Um, no, I just found it on a stock screener a little while ago. Got it. Okay. Well, look, here's what we can say about this equity today. Uh, even though the volume is a tad light, uh, so far 484,000 shares, uh, what it's doing, Jim, is I'm sure that you've identified it's trading right into an area where this had gapped down. That's the resistance point. Uh, I don't know. Why, I, I know why it says what it does. And then we get rid of that perigee number out there. Let's change that line. We'll just go ahead and make it yellow. That'll be easier out here. And so... This equity today, 745 is what it's trading into. Now, when it gapped to the downside, it was 1.6 million shares. Um, so I wouldn't touch this if it doesn't close above 745. Uh, the positive of what it did today was it closed over the top of its daily profile at 712, a very narrow profile there. So I don't get too excited with narrow banded profiles of support and resistance. But nonetheless, it did close above one resistance level, trading into the next, which is 745. Now, I would say 
Jim, that if it closes above 745, even on light volume, what uh, price should do is seek out the top of its weekly profile, and that is 774. Uh, at 761, there may be some resistance, which happens to be Stevie's red line on a weekly time frame. And that 764 or 774 was coming from the top of the weekly profile. So resistance, the next level above 745, 761 to 774. I don't know how it's going to handle those levels out there. Um, I don't have a uh, like a terrific buy signal uh, from a bottom standpoint as it was making the low back on May 30th. So I don't have really anything there to hang our hat on from a daily standpoint, a weekly standpoint, a monthly standpoint. Um, and so I guess the if you were going to buy this on a pullback, then what you would do is I'd wait for it to come back probably to Stevie's red line number on the daily time frame, Jim. That's 672 um, or 696 would be the bottom of that daily profile that I'm not really that enthused about because it's such a narrow band. 696 to 712, you know what I mean? It's so thin with regard to where buyers and sellers were. It's, it's almost confusing to me. Yeah, I, that's, why, that's what was confusing to me, too. I, I just felt like uh, overall it looked like it had potential, but I'm a little scared of it, so I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I would, I, I, look, I, I have that same fear that you have with this equity while, while it's hitting these different resistance levels. And I just think that the reward risk just isn't in it for you, knowing that these resistance levels could, in fact, contain price. So now is definitely not the time. And if you really are interested, you know, then, you know, wait, wait for this thing to pull back and make sure that it does it with light volume. And then, then, then you're okay. Yeah. Okay. I really Alrighty. appreciate you, Steve. I watch you every day that I can and just about every day. <laughs> uh, no problem. Thanks for that. And I wish I could, I wish I could give you like an exact uh, spot to, to enter on this, but I just can't, I don't, I just don't have it right now. I don't see it. Uh, yeah, well, you're just confirming kind of what I was thinking, so I appreciate you. Perfect. Thank you Perfect. a lot. Okay. Hey, thanks for calling. Have a great day. That was Jim in Palm Harbor. And uh, so uh, no, no one else on the line. Let's do this. Earlier uh, today inside the Tiger's Den, I threw out a couple of figures. I always like to let folks know where those are coming from so that you know that they're not pulled out of the arse, so to speak. And this was with regard to the NQ. And I was suggesting that today... Uh, the NQ's chart is really important for us to watch out here. And this is a very simple uh, tool uh, that, that you use, that I use. Well, we know the NQ, when it formed a bottom, it did it with this TD setup nine count. We also know when it did the high, when it made the high back here, it did it with the same pattern that is out there. Now, the beauty of those patterns, and right now I'm just showing resistance. I'm only interested in resistance. And, uh, Em, if you happen to be listening in right now, 75.59 and a quarter, uh, that came from the top or the high of that uh, TD setup nine count that created the resistance level. If price is able to close above 75.59.25, um, I cannot advise somebody to be short. If you're short because price has hit resistance, I get it. I see it. Um, and we can put together a couple of other tools to say, okay, I, I get that trade. Uh, but if price closes over 75.59.25 out there, uh, the breakdown, that's what that green line represents. That is the breakdown area. This is where sellers should be residing. And if you get a close over that, it's saying the sellers ain't there. And if the sellers ain't there, buyer, well, actually, sellers, beware. We'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the TAS Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the TAS Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the TAS Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, folks so let's just kind of uh, let's spend a little time on the nq here so let's look at the 30 minute uh, time frame because the other equity futures contracts are doing in essence about the same and so we can see that price was moving higher doing with less relative energy those are the black diagonal lines that get drawn on my screen out here we can see that you did have that bearish engulfing candle form that confirms this pattern that took place right at 12 30 but what price hasn't done well shoot it's just testing stevie's green line out here so that would be what we'll call the first level of resistance we can see the 30 minute profile is a bearish structured box so any close above 7566 would be very bullish nothing more bullish than a failed bearish pattern that's what's out here but really what sellers ought to be able to do is push the NQ down to 7492 um, which is the bottom of that profile then if they can't do that boy a huge message that is being delivered uh, to each of us out there so you've got a short-term topping pattern and so we'll watch to see uh, what sellers can do. They should be able to, in the NQ's case, they should be able to muster up enough to uh, get a decline down to 74.92. A lot of people will say, oh, that's the top. No, that's nothing more than a short-term topping pattern pushing price down to support out there. So that's one of the things that we want to pay attention to. And I had provided you with this number. That was that, uh, well, it was on a different chart, 75.59 and a quarter. That's a resistance level. That's where the breakdown began inside of the NQ. It's not any place else out there. However, um, if we take a look at where price is trading in the NQ this week, right now it's trading above its weekly green line. It didn't close above it on Friday. The ES Mini did, and we'll take a quick peek at that. But that level is 75.08 and some change right now. But if price closes above that this week, 
Uh, it's telling us that it can go back all the way to the highs. In fact, it should then make a new all-time high, maybe get to that fourth uh, wave count uh, to the upside out there. Um, but you got to take things one step at a time. But right now, trading above that weekly green line is a uh, bullish indication. So you've got everything that you need to be watching to be to be to to summarize this properly out here because we've looked at a couple of different time frames the 30 minute the short term time frame says sellers ought to be able to take charge of the NQ and push price down to 7492 if price were to close below 7492 uh, then you're looking at a run down to uh, the breakout level inside the NQ on a 30 minute time frame and that level is 7441.50 and if they're unable to do that it is a gigantic did i say gigantic gargantuan message to both you and i now the es is slightly different if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart here for the es on friday price closed above stevie's green line that is uh, muy bueno for being long the es mini 2872 is the number that price needs to stay above to say that it wants to continue to move higher so any pullback to test that level and bounce off of that I would be very bullish. Now, the ES Mini has a resistance level like the NQ. I didn't use that because that level is up much further. It's up at 29.38. We're only at 28.97. So that is not being tested, but there's not a gosh darn thing inside the daily time frame here for the ES. When we take a look at this version of the chart to suggest that price is not going to go up and tag that level, with the exception being that the ES mini has run into that resistance level established by its horizontal trading ranges in the 2906 area. So 2906 is really a key level for the ES mini out there Oop, didn't mean to do that um inside the dow the dow equity futures contract closed above on a weekly basis stevie's green line that's at 26023 prices trading above that the weekly information is telling us that this wants to continue to move higher perhaps put in a new all-time high we really need to see failures now inside the dow equity futures contract you and i because of using that td setup nine count system as we mentioned earlier price is pulled back to its first level of support so let's continue to watch that in other words you got the topping signal whenever you get a topping pattern what you do for that time frame is say okay where's support you stay with that time frame where's support that's what we're doing here in the 30 minute uh, basis and so price is pulled back tested support has rejected support and is starting to move just a tad higher so we know what to be looking for um, and we're just trying to make this as simple, as simple as we can out here. So let's go to our next question that came in, because we can always go surf around, take a look at the indices and multiple time frames to figure out what's going on. But uh, if you spend time to write in, we are going to answer your question. And this question here coming from Sat P, and that is, um, can we take a look at AMOT? and suggest if I can buy a few shares of it right now. AMOT is uh, Allied Motion Technology. And what we want to do here is see if we can find a bottom. We can see that it made a low several days ago on the trading session of May 31st. But the question is, uh, was that a bottom? We know it was a market bottom out there, but is this a bottom inside of Allied Motion Technologies? Here's what we know. Price is trading with inside its daily profiles. It is below the weekly profile, and it's trading with inside the monthly profile. So let's go to the daily time frame chart out here and see if we can spot a bottoming pattern. And the answer is, well, I don't know. Let's do a wave count. Let's start doing our wave count, see what we can get to down there. Well, lo and behold... The answer is we can spot a bottom. It gets down to wave number seven. That is letter number G, and it does that. It looks like on the uh, 31st. I don't know why my date is off by a day here. It says June 1st, but we know that wasn't the case because I just looked at that candle, and that was May 31st. I don't know what the deal with the calibration is that's going on here. But uh, So, yeah, we do see a bottom. It's not picking up today's action out here, or is it? No, it's not. Uh, I just have too many things going on in the background. Sorry about that a project that I'm working on. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, I, I spot a bottom. If you're asking can you buy here, you know, the aspect here is we've got to figure out reward risk. So 
let's say you enter 34, 35, where's the next level of resistance out here? The level of resistance that I would be concerned about, the next level is going to be 3519. So 3519, you know, I and the average true range on this is a buck. I don't see it out here. Sat. I, I'm not saying that you might that it, that, it, that it might not take that level out, but the reward risk just just. I'm looking at the weekly chart, of course, and that's the resistance, that little red line. Um, and then you got 34.95, the bottom of that profile. Look, that letter G, that's important. That is important. And so you're just saying a few shares. So as an experiment, go for it. Um, you know, go for it. Where, where? Let's say it can clear Stevie's red line on the weekly basis. Then your next target to the upside is going to be 38.62. So if that works for you, reward risk and so forth, and and it's just a small position you're trying to start, then go right ahead and know that you did that courtesy of uh, one of uh, Basil Chapman's tools, uh, and that is the wave count. And we like how the market sings in the key of G. It never ceases to amaze me when we see that pattern show up. That's letter G or wave number seven, how it identifies tops and bottoms. That's a beautiful thing. Let's say thank you, Saratoga Bob and Mr. Z in the den for really tracking that, pointing that out, and then uh, being so kind to share that with me and now with you. Dow's up 136, S&P 22. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today the Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com.
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So Max writes in, and Max wants to uh, buy some way out of the money puts on Beyond Meat. Ticker symbol there is BYND. And um, so here's we have very limited data, Max. And uh, but here's what I here's here's what we do see at the uh, moment. I wouldn't enter that trade until I saw at least some type of uh, reversal top out here. Now, you may get it. We can see that price has been moving higher, doing less relative energy, and I'd wait for some type of bearish reversal candle to form. Maybe it's tomorrow. Maybe it's next day. I, you know, if it makes a new high, we'd have to see if this pattern has extended itself. But I don't have any other pattern out here on a daily time frame to suggest. Now, I know your way out. You're, you're going into January 2021. But still, for that trade to work, you'd like to see some signal that the sellers, um, you know, have uh, given you or, uh, some type of sign that they're ready to begin the process of pushing a price lower out here. And you can't say that just because it traded up to 186 and is trading at 167, that that's the sign that sellers are present. Uh, we don't have any profiles to use, uh, just not enough trading data uh, that is out here. And I just don't have any other pattern identification, Max, to say, you know, that, that, and you're looking for 35 to 45, so you're looking for price perhaps to get back below the IPO, which is a very, very possible and plausible out here. That's typically what happens when sellers eventually get in control is they, uh, over time, will be able to push price back below the IPO level. But let's not go there, even though I think you've gone there, uh, taking this out to 2021. I would at least have to wait uh, to see some type of topping pattern out here, and I just don't have that as we speak right now. So he asked me to look at it, and, which I did, and and uh, and so that's my suggestion at this stage of the uh, game out there. Uh, let's go to the next question that came. This is from Robert. Robert says, uh, "Could we look at uh, CARB? Uh, C A R B is the uh, ticker symbol. So let's go take a look at uh, that. Sounds familiar. I just uh, recall looking at this. Is Carbo Ceramics, maybe C A R B." Carbo, no, carbonite, carbonite. Okay, so I think that's a software, uh, software, uh, soft, software security, software security type package. All right, so your question is, could you look at carb, TAS profiles, you're looking for an entry point. Okay, so this is trading below, this is trading below, um, it's daily, it's trading right on the weekly profile, the bottom of the box you were asking about, that's 2263, you're 2283. So the question is, you know, is that really a bottom? Now, price in March on a weekly basis was moving lower with about 4.9 million shares, and last week, 1.6 million shares, I never tested that bottom, but okay, price has dried up, so that's good. For some reason now, my system has gone to crap. Oh, man. No, it was just with regard to CARB. So for some reason, uh, my system is not letting me pull up CARB on the other side, Robert, which is a real bummer because I can't... Because uh, what I'm trying to determine is whether or not there was some type of ba bottom pattern out here. So here's what we've got to go with, Robert. Let's just take a look at what's really going on inside this equity and take a look at, uh, you know, the in essence consolidation pattern that it's trading within, and we're just simply going to label from 2235 to 2860. Um, though I'm probably being pretty generous on the 2860 because really uh, the the the, the so-called consolidation really 2636. So there's your you've got average true range of 76 cents as your stop needs to be 76 cents times some multiplication factor. Um, which I would say would be 1.27 to 1.618. And then uh, that's where your stop would be, and your target's going to be about 26.36, give or take. So if you want to take a uh, long trade, then now is the time. You just got to be very careful, especially because I wasn't able to go back and try to identify if there was some type of bottoming pattern, a TD9 count or something else out there. So best of luck with that uh, trade. Um, 
Let's uh, take a look at uh, Eddie. Eddie writes in, says, hey, Steve, can you do some analysis on BABA, Alibaba, B-A-B-A, -B -A, folks, is the ticker symbol. So we're going to pull that up on both sets of screens out here. It's been in the doghouse, says Eddie. And uh, but uh, lately looks like it's uh, breaking out. Do you trust the breakout? And uh, do you think the stock is still vulnerable to us trying to trade war news? Well, that I don't know um, if it's vulnerable to. I suppose it is uh, vulnerable, although how much? How often uh, I would ask this question, Eddie. How often are you uh, logging into Alibaba versus Amazon? I would ask in the den. How many of you are logging into um, Alibaba versus uh, Amazon? Um, you know, so if the majority of their business is really coming from Asia, do, do there now, well, this could this be affected because of the stock market itself in general and the stock market um, moving lower in whether it's a Shanghai or the Hang Seng? Sure. But uh, with regard to the trade aspect, I don't know. Oh, man. So I do have some problem, some issue with my system. I'm not able to pull up those other charts. Uh, that's a real bummer especially with 24 minutes left in the show. That is a real, real bummer. Why is that? Well, every now and then that happens, and that's just life. You just got to motor on. So here, here's the deal. Uh, Eddie, do I trust the breakout? I don't really see a breakout, per se. Um, I see price moving off off of a low out here. I don't know if it's a bottom. That was the May 31st level. Today, it's above the daily profile at 157.43. Uh, this has some gaps. I don't know in this case here in Alibaba um, whether the gaps are currency related. You know, and so I'm a little bit untrustworthy of the gaps out there. Um, so you asked me about, uh, you know, what I trust or, you know, what's vulnerable. I think for me to tell you that that these gaps offer resistance, maybe that's not the greatest thing. Uh, we're below the weekly profile, trading right into the monthly. So I come back to your question, and I, I really am sorry that I'm hamstrung on using my other tools because the other tools are just ideal for being able to identify bottoms, tops, and, and other levels. And I can't get it going in between to, during this show. I've got to shut too many things down, and that's not going to happen. So uh, I don't see it as a breakout. A breakout, I would see wide price spread, accelerated volume. Um, a breakout, I'd see some type of TD setup, nine count to the upside. I know we don't have that. I can just look at this and say, I know we don't have that in here as we speak. So... Um, so how do I try to, how do I better answer your question? One, I don't think it's vulnerable to U.S.-China tariffs. Uh, second, uh, it's not a breakout that I see, but I do see it breaking above resistance. And so if you want to take a trade, you know, uh, go for it. Um, your stop, your average true range on this equity is 494. Your stop needs to be 494 uh, times 1.618. I would say that's your stop size on that, and all that does is just determine how many shares that you would purchase of Ali Baba. That was for Eddie, and hope that helps you out. Uh, you, know, you can check back with me tomorrow as well. Uh, hopefully, I'll have the other tools working so that there's no issue. So we get back from this break. We've answered all the questions out there, and with a lack of tools, so to speak, um, let's go take a look at Goldilocks. Try to figure out where she is pulling back to. Right now down 16 bucks, trading at 13.30. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com. Then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Dow's up 142, S&P 22. So it's uh, Goldilocks pulling back uh, 16 buckaroonies out here. So let's go take a look at where price is likely to pull back to. So let's do this here. Let's put up the gold contract. And, and there is a new set of profiles. Let me go ahead and uh, get those on the uh, chart out here. No, they won't show up there. I've got to use my... So this is a... This is using my advanced... My advanced Doppler system out here and it just tells me that new profiles are attempting to form and I didn't want to show the weekly let me get rid of the weekly here's the daily out here so as we take a look at uh, gold um, what we can see here is that uh, price is trading just at about its point of control uh, now this is a bullish structured box because that point of control at 1330 is closer to the bottom at 13 uh, 20 1323 versus the top at 1345 here, here if I turn price off you'll you'll better visually see that see how the center line is much closer to the bottom than the top out there so it's bullish in structure so what that means is that what's going on right now unless gold closes whoops unless gold closes below a 132330 then the uh, bullish trend remains intact, and that's where someone might look to enter or to add two positions out here. But as we speak right now, it does appear that gold is going to pull back to that 1323 level, or that becomes a price target. Another price target that's out here is 1317. So you got to give that 1323 level just a tad bit of room out there. Why? Because uh, we've got to pay attention to Stevie's green line, which is presently priced at 1317. And so that too could be an area of support. Now on this daily time frame chart, you and I had been looking at a possible uh, topping pattern. I had, was warning out there once that uh, TD setup nine count confirmed with the shooting star candle out here. That was on this trading day, um, which I believe is going to be the fifth or the fourth out there just because my, my system seems to be uncalibrated at the dates at the bottom but uh, you'll see that shooting star candle now that was resistance that was previously established by the swing points back in february so it had other resistance levels but the significant topping pattern the nine count didn't ever come to fruition out there so what's that mean 
Uh, it means to expect a further retracement inside of gold. However, it is sitting at that point of control. So that is a really key level. Let's bring that up again. Um, and uh, 1330.70. So I could be wrong. 1330.70 could be uh, the extent of the uh, pullback or the retracement. Now, if that's the case, then what we're going to see is some type of bottoming signal on a 30-minute time frame. So if I just come over and I take a look at gold on a 30-minute time frame, we just, uh, just take a look at its uh, counts out here and support. Well, I don't have it. You can see right now, maybe we're making a TD setup nine count on a 30-minute basis, but we're we're at least uh, till two. That would give me till 3:30. We're at least 3:30 before we could even make that call. So I'm unwilling to make that call out here because I just don't have the data to suggest that. Let me look at the 60-minute time frame chart. Well, we're going to do it together. Just looking to see, you know, what what else is out here to assist us. You know, prices pulled back and tested the 13.29 level. 1329 happens to be the bottom of its 60-minute. Uh, uh, this did, the 30-minute time frame, did, in fact, identify the top out here. It did it with two different patterns. It did it with the Rose Momentum Indicator top. It did it with the TD setup at nine count. So you know what I would think? Seeing that prices made it to wave number six, letter F on my screen out here, just seems like you should see another push lower. Uh, inside of uh, gold, maybe get down to that seventh wave out there. So, uh, yeah, unwilling to call the bottom out here inside of gold, but recognize that price is at a level of support as we speak right now. But the better level of support would be 1317 to 1323. That's what I see when I take a look at uh, Goldilocks. What about silver? Is silver put in a new profile? Is it attempting to form a new? By the way, that new profile may not come to fruition out here. As I mentioned, or if I didn't mention, which I did mention, I'm using my advanced system. So the advanced system out here is uh, trying to spot uh, changes before they actually and or completely form out here. Uh, we've got the same type of setup when we take a look at silver. I'm going to get rid of price, just easier for you to see out here. Um, and this is a bearish structured box. The, 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 the uh, gold contract was a bullish structured box. So the bottom of the box, almost hard to make out, is at 14 1450. 1450. So bearish in structure. Let's put price back up here. And price is traded well below the center line, whereas gold was not. So silver, we would say, is headed back to 1450. 1450 is the uh, number. And if price is moving into the swing point from May 28th and it's doing it with volume, well, maybe that is not even going to hold price when it comes to high. Ho silver. So that's what's going on there. If you're wondering about the GDX, we take a Look at the GDX, get a feel where support might be here. Um, yeah, I wish I could tell you. Wish I could tell you, because I really think we need to go see where Stevie's green line is at. And unless I have the GDX up somewhere, which I don't. But what I do have is the XAU. So let's do that. Let me switch over to my XAU chart, because I do have that. And so there we can uh, identify... Uh, we can identify exactly where price could or should find support. So inside the XAU, what we're looking for, and, and disregard right now, disregard the uh, eight count that was generated on Friday to set up a topping signal because price is, uh, that pattern is going to go away uh, today, or it looks like it's going to go away today because price is trading below bar number five, the close of bar number five. But that doesn't mean that price is not going to continue to pull back. It looks like it is, and it looks like price will pull back to about 70.58. So in the XAU, I'd be watching for 70.58, see if price pulls back there. That could then be in a, your entry point into the mining equities out there. But that's what I see when I take a look at that. We won't, don't want to use the daily profile. We could, 21.30, so that is certainly a target on the uh, way to the downside. Now, the good news is volume so far today relatively light. 16 million shares have already traded going against 75 million from back on what looks like June 3rd out here. So that's nice, but that doesn't mean that price is not going to continue to pull back. It's just lining up with what's going on uh, when we take a look at the uh, gold contract out there. So uh, that's what we see going on and taking a look at uh, precious metals along with the uh, mining sector.
out there. Okay, so we got about a minute out here. What do we want to take a uh, look at? What what else do we want to take a look at out here? I don't have any clue as to what it is. You might ask the question, when do I think the uh, markets might make their next top out here? And uh, my answer to that would be, well, Unless we get some other signal, which I don't see just yet, I'm looking for, and we mentioned this on Friday, I'm looking for the advanced decline oscillator reading inside the New York Stock Exchange to get up to the plus 150 level. You're at 104.71 as we speak right now. So I'm watching for that. If it gets up to plus 150 and at the same time it's doing that, the uh, spot volatility index is trading above its 50-day exponential moving average as it is right now, 1620 versus 1592. Now, that could be setting up the next uh, short-term top inside the markets. Still, as we speak, no levels of support have uh, failed out there. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Be right back. Basil Chapman has a special subscriber webinar coming up Wednesday, June 12th at 5 p.m. called The Tide. In this webinar, Basil will be demonstrating techniques that can help one identify whether the tide is coming in or going out. That is, whether a trend is bullish or bearish in a variety of time frames. And Basil will be speaking specifically to indices, currencies, commodities, interest rates, and key stocks. The technical tools that Basil will be discussing are available on almost all software packages that will be shown in historical context as well as live for current market setups. Identifying the key trend allows one to trade with the tide rather than against it. Subscribers also gain immediate access to three archived workshops so you can get started right away when you sign up. For all the details on the opening call and Basil's upcoming subscriber webinar, The Tide, this coming Wednesday, visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow up 123. S&P is uh, 19. Uh, Tucker, you know what oil is doing here? It's dealing with resistance. Um, uh, Stevie's red line out there, 54.82. We can see how it stays high. 
uh, in essence, has tagged that number. And so that's really a key level out here with regard to uh, light, sweet, crude. If you take a look at, um, but no levels of support have been broken from an intraday time period. Here's a 30-minute chart here for light, sweet, crude. You can just see just simply a move sideways. So price got up to resistance. It's now kind of backing off. We don't know if it's going to just back off to generate some energy to try to take out that resistance. But it's really right at a resistance level uh, is the way that uh, I see what light, sweet, crude is doing. Uh, we had a question that came in. We got two, really. And uh, so let's go take a look at uh, those. The first one coming in from Michael H., and Michael wants to take a look at the ticker symbol UUUU, -U -U, uh, and I'm referring to you. And uh, that is uh, Energy Fuels, Inc. And the question is, is it okay to go long on a pullback? Um, it is. I don't have uh, Stevie's red line because, as I mentioned, I, I've got a little corrupt corruption going on that I've got to uh, take care of, a corrupt file that I've got to take care of. Can't do it live during the show. But, yeah, uh, this thing here looks like it's uh, targeting 334 right now. 334 is the top of the weekly profile, bullish structured profile. So uh, buyers should be able to push price up there. Um, at this stage, a pullback, yeah, Stevie's red line would be one good level. So it sounds like, Mike, uh, you've got that number. In lieu of that, you'd be looking at a pullback to old resistance. 275. The last question coming in from John in the Den asking about palladium. Is palladium setting up to form another lower high? And the answer we have to go with at this stage is yes, unless we see palladium trade above the top of its weekly profile, 1377.70, you're at 13.75 right now, so price is traded up into resistance. And then if it closes above that, well, it might want to go target the recent high from about April the 29th. Hey, folks, thanks so much for being here. Make sure you have a magnificent Monday, a marvelous Monday, and stay tuned. Because David White's up next. Tom O'Brien, 3 to 5. I'll be back with you on Terrific Tuesday. Take care.